Hello everyone, TMT Designs here, known as Thomas Turner, and today I'm going to show you 10 useful commands for Ubuntu 14.04. These commands probably will work with newer versions and older versions, but this is what we're using today. Okay, so what I'm going to do is... is um, going to do is yeah so I'm gonna crack straight into it these are the commands what we're going to be using on the right hand side and I'm gonna just break down each command and help help you um, if you're a beginner using Ubuntu okay so Ubuntu um, no. so the first command is sudo this command all by itself does absolutely nothing as we can see here but this command is a very important command if you're new to Ubuntu so let's say we create a user sudo allows you to give every permission so it allows you to do any command anything long as you put sudo in front of it and you have to give a user what we're going to be creating today um, that that um, that permission so we can use sudo okay so first of all we're going to create a new user by doing add user and we're going to call it tmt designs this is just for me you choose whatever name you want right. I'm just gonna create the password now for what I want for the user and I'm gonna just confirm it I'm just gonna bam 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 and now make sure to click Y and now we've created the new user so now what I'm going to do is give the sudo command to the new user called TMD designs by doing this so this is how we're going to do it. So user mod s, no, no, um, user mod dash a capital G, sudo tmt designs. So now I've given tmt designs the permission to do sudo. So now I'm going to go into the new user so by doing process su tmt designs. So now, so as we can see here, we're in the new user called TMT designs um, as we see here okay so uh, um, so now if we do apt get install update it has said we need the permission because the permission is design uh, denied the permission is denied so we need the permission in order to do this command so what I'm gonna do is just use sudo and this is allowing me to do the command I need to confirm the password of the user and now look it has checked the packages and it has updated the system okay so now I'm going to go back to my root user by doing su root and I need to type in the password for my root user okay so now I'm going to create a directory so I do use mkdir in my head I just call it make directory so much more easier to memorize so and then do a new folder and we're not even going to use Tom we're going to use TMT designs new folder so now this is created a new folder in TMT designs the TMT designs folder is the user of TMT designs so that does sound a bit confusing but if you look in the FTP you'll be able to see it it'll go home then it'll then it have a list of your users and then users it'll have um, different folders of what you create or files or whatever so now I'm going to do for us ls and I'm going to go into the folder of my user and do for us ls as you can see here it's created the new folder and it is purple why is it purple because it has not many permissions I have forgotten what purple is but anyway we're gonna make this file publicly so everyone can see even even if you're on a web server so by doing this it means that we'll be able to go into the folder okay without root and just inside its regular user so I'm going to do forces ch mod Seven seven seven, and do for us home for us TMT designs for us new folder. Now this is granting a permission 
to make it public so now let's maybe just do um, ls and now it's changed color to green and blue and this is basically saying to me now your file is public there'll be a blog post in the description where you can check out and that's going to have an in-depth in-depth read of all this tutorial and it's going to have um, the permissions as we can see here okay so now if i do nano as we can see here it has made something weird what is this so nano is a very good useful command it can create files for you it can create text files you can edit in it so let's say you need a document maybe if you want to test html file we can just create it like that within a matter of seconds no need to go into the ftp and yeah so what i'm going to do i'm gonna cross out this and i'm gonna use nano and i'm gonna create a file called for example if this was a web server i'd call it index.html you can check my web server tutorial right now there's a link but anyway um so yeah so now i'm gonna do test as we would inside a .html file i would suppose to test a web server and i'm gonna click y and now this is just saved the file and if we can see here it's got no permissions so we'll just do the same to this file chmod 777 and then we'll just carry on going through the files again tmt designs forward slash new folder no um forward slash let me have a look as we can see here we're in the tmt folder so now i'm going to do index.html and it's changed color because we're just using chmod and if we want to give this no permission to do anything let's say if it was a virus or something we can just clear it up by doing photo 000 this will give the file absolutely zero permissions and it'll change the um, no color as we can see here so anyway i hope this has helped you if you have any questions please comment down below and i'll be able to help you um also there's a blog post in the description of this video broken down and yeah thanks for watching hope you've enjoyed and see you in the next one